Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. Just to let you know, I'm a bit congested at the moment and I've just been editing another video where I feel like you can really hear it in my voice. So I'm really sorry if I sound really stuffy. There's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. I go away next weekend, so I need to film this video today. I don't have time to film next weekend to get this video up for you the Sunday that you're seeing it. So yeah, we're just going to need to push on. Today I am doing a lip gloss declutter for you. I have been reaching for lip gloss a little bit more than usual recently. Because it's not a product that I reach for very often, a lot of these are very old in my collection and definitely some of them have actually gone off. So I think it's time for me to weed through them, be pretty ruthless and knock them down a bit. So let's get on into it. I was actually going to say I don't have a huge lip gloss collection but to be honest, that's probably still a reasonable amount of lip gloss. Um, and there's actually two missing, so let me just go grab them to slide them in. There are two that won't be getting decluttered, but for the sake of making sure we've got a full picture of the collection, let me go grab them. So the two that weren't with the rest are my Lisa Eldridge one that's in this year's Project Pan, so it was sitting with my Project Pan stuff. And then this Charlotte Tilbury one, which was in my other drawer. That's now my full collection. So we're starting off with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So if I could get this down to single figures, I'd be very happy. So let's get on into them. So I've just kind of sorted them out by colours. So these are sort of light pinks into nudes, mid pinks, deeper pinks into like sort of darker shades. These are all sort of translucent, glittery, clearish ones. My two orangey peachy ones and my one red lip gloss. So we may as well just start with this. This is Elise Eldridge lip gloss in the shade Ribbon. As this is in my project pan, I will not be decluttering this. I am actually hoping to finish it this year. I'm not sure if that's realistic or not because as you can see, this is a very pigmented lip gloss. Working in this one this year, so I'm hoping this will leave my collection through use rather than through being decluttered so I'm keeping this one for now. Next to that I've got the two orangey ones. I think these will both be keeps as well. This shade is from Marc Jacobs, my beloved but currently defunct makeup line. The shade Call Me. It's a really really beautiful sort of gingerbready shade. Absolutely love that. Definitely definitely keeping that and I will definitely be keeping. This is the Charlotte Tilbury it is this product here, the Collagen Lip Bath. So this is the shade Peachy Plump. I'll definitely be keeping this. I feel like I might actually put this in a future project pan, like maybe next year's project pan or something. I did, I kind of had a lip gloss in every project pan going for a while there. And I do, I quite like the idea of reducing things through usage. And I feel like panning a lip gloss is realistic. Maybe not the least Eldridge one that I put in this year's, but... This kind of one I feel like I could definitely pan and I do really like this so I'm keeping this for now. So we've got three keeps so far. So the next category are all these kind of shades. Let me swatch them all. First of all, we've got the Lipstick Queen, the Hello Sailor Lip Gloss. So this is blue but it's supposed to make your teeth look whiter. Next to that I'll swatch this shade from Chanel. This is the shade 104 Glossimer. Next to that, I'll do this one from Dior, which is number 164, Gold Rain. And next to that, I'll do this other Dior shade. This is the shade 004 Tiara. So if you guys can see, they're all those kind of iridescent, sort of glimmery, glittery shades. So I'm going to be honest, although these four are arguably very pretty, my arm currently stinks. Like the smell of these has like hit me as soon as I've opened them. So I think all four of these are very much off. They were probably all bought around a very similar time. I was probably going through a bit of a thing for that kind of vibe because they're all very similar in terms of the finish, etc. All four of these are definitely headed for the bin. Like they smell too bad to even pass them on to anyone. These are definitely way past their due date. Okay, so moving on, let's go on to the nudes. So first of all, I've got this lip gloss from Illamasqua, it's the shade Facade. So I feel like this I was really into when that sort of really grungy makeup look was in, but I just don't see myself reaching for this again anytime soon. I feel like rather than giving this house room, I could just get rid of it and if that, I mean, I feel like if that trend comes back around, I don't even know if I'd be partaking in it. I feel like if I was looking at this in the shop now, I wouldn't buy that again. So I don't know why I'm holding on to this. 
Next up I have these two lip glosses which are both from Benefits and they are both the same shade Life on the A-list. They're both theoretically the same shade but they look completely different. I mean I say completely different like they're definitely that kind of light finish that there's probably not much in it but they are both labelled as the same shade and they are definitely not the same shade like the top one's more pink the bottom one's more peach but yeah that's kind of a bit weird that they're both supposed to be the same and they're not so I'm not sure which one's if one's gone off or whatever. I think I'm just going to get rid of both of these to be safe. So three for three so far in the nudes category, all going. Then the last one that I have in this category is another one of the Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Baths. This one is the shade Pillow Talk. Definitely keeping this. I actually think I could again pan this at some point. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping the Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like as a shade that's much more flattering to me, that little bit of warmth. I feel like it goes with my hair and my eyes a bit more so yeah keeping the Charlotte Tilbury and getting rid of the other three so so far this is the keep pile we've got four in it and in terms of the going pile we've got one two three four five six seven so I'm really pleased with that so if I said I wanted this down to single figures and I get four basically I can't keep more than five from this lineup so I've got one two three four five six seven here so I need at least another two to go and if we've done that, I've got it down to single figures which I will be very very pleased with. So let's have a look at these ones. I will swatch these two shades next. Now this one is another benefit one. It came from the same set that I had that mini Life on the A-list from. This is the shade Spiked Punch. I feel like because of the Life on the A-list discrepancy in terms of the shades etc. I am probably just going to get rid of this but it was always very pretty so let me just swatch it so we can enjoy it one last time. So you can see that was always a gorgeous one for spring summer, very very summer holiday, bright peachy coral shade. But yeah I think we'll just let that one go. And the next one is another Charlotte Tilbury one, I'm not sure what this version is called, this is the Pillow Talk shade in whatever the lip glosses with the glittery lids are called. I got a set basically I think two or three Christmases ago now and it had this, then the other little mini Pillow Talk collagen lip bath, then a little mini of the liner and the lipstick in it. So I didn't buy this as an individual item or anything like that but yeah that is that one. This is very very pretty and if you guys can see there there's actually a little bit of windowing because I have used a fair amount of this um, and it is a mini so definitely going to keep hold of this one because I think I could definitely pan this completely at some point and formula wise etc it still smells fine so I'm going to hold on to this. Five more to go and it's all the deep vampy shades that I absolutely love. I have now kept five so I can only keep four from this at absolute maximum but yeah let's swatch them smell them see how we go I will start off with this one from Chanel this is the shade 175 I'm just realizing that one that I showed you earlier that I said was called Glossomer this also says Glossomer so actually that's not the shade name that must be the range name so the shade number is just number 175 I can't see an actual name for it so that is that swatch there. It's this beautiful, almost metallic deep pink. Colour wise it is absolutely gorgeous but the smell is not great so I think this has had its life unfortunately and it is time for it to go in the bin. I'm a bit annoyed about that because it's obviously still so pigmented, there's still so much product there and I am having to bin it because it's gone off so that's very disappointing and an absolute lesson in why I need to have less stuff to get use of things before they go off because when I get too much there's just too much get through in the collection and things don't get the right amount of attention. Next up is another Chanel one. This one is the shade number 24 and this has a shade name. It is called Expressive. So that is that shade there. It's really beautiful and dark and that one doesn't smell off so I'm definitely going to keep this one for now. Next up is this shade number 972 from Dior. It's called Cult see a little bit of windowing there so obviously I've had a bit more use of this than of some of the others which is nice. That one doesn't smell great but it doesn't smell as bad as some of the others but no I do you know I was gonna I was going to think about keeping it there but I'll just I'll get rid of it. I've kept the Chanel one which is fairly similar so yeah 
I'll say goodbye to the Dior one. Now I've kept two of my absolute favourites here for last so this one is from Chanel, it is shade number 487 and this came out with the Rouge Noir collection that they did one Christmas and this other one is from MAC, it's actually it's a core shade or for lipstick it's a core shade anyway, it's the shade Sin but the packaging is from the Toledo collection which was one of my absolute favourites. I'm sorry if this is all super jerky by the way, I keep having to stop filming so I can go cough so I'm really sorry if that's really obvious but anyway let me swatch these two. I am a bit worried about this one given all the other ones like this that we have swatched have all been off. Yeah, this one smells dreadful too. Oh, that's so sad. But anyway, let's just look at the beautiful colour one last time. Oh, and then next to that I will do Max Sin, which actually doesn't smell dreadful, surprisingly. So there we are facing the light. So the second to end one is the Chanel one, which is definitely off. And then at the very end is Maxin, which smells all right. It feels like it's quite sticky, but I'm I'm going to keep it. I'm going to use it. And, you know, if I decide it's too sticky to use, it'll be in a future declutter. But I think for now we will declutter this one and keep this one. So here we are. This is the declutter pile. So let's put that right out frame there. Sorry. So to count we're decluttering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 going, really happy with that. And keeping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 are staying, 11 are going. I am really, really pleased with that outcome. I feel like as well now that I've got this down to just this, this one's quite fat but this lives with my project pan items anyway so storage wise I feel like these six could all be stored in like a pot or something that will make them much easier to grab rather than going back into this pouch because I feel like I put things in pouches to keep it neat but also it's just it keeps it out of sight you have to unzip it to go into it you have to rifle through it I feel like if I have these in a pot I'll see them I'll be much more likely to just grab and go so I feel like that will be so much better it's one less pouch to put on a shelf they can just be slotted in somewhere nice and easily where they'll be more visible. Just all in all, I think this is a, a big, big improvement. So I'm really happy with how this declutter went. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I'm really sorry about my voice, as I say, and if it's been really jerky because I've had to keep cutting off to go drink water or cough or blow my nose. So I do apologise if that's come across. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!